Time now to head back to Zane to talk about our beautiful uh, Sunday, but we mm -hmm. could be in some trouble. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit hotter here as we go past this Sunday, Todd. Absolutely. Today, yeah, I mean, just a little bit of some heat, but not terrible. 88 is the temperature right now here in the Des Moines metro, so it is warmer than average. There's a little bit of humidity, too, just enough to push that heat index up one more degree to 89. But all those numbers will be higher, though, as we go through the next few days. That's the first headline here of this week. Monday and Tuesday, probably going to get around the century mark for those heat index values. Storm chances also too. Monday night and parts of Tuesday as well. Middle of the week is where we're looking at for the comfortable weather. Probably around Wednesday would be the pick day to be outside I think over the next few. Now as far as severe weather potential is concerned that's probably highest Tuesday afternoon. Level 2 risk will be out where you see that yellow zone across much of central and eastern Iowa Tuesday afternoon evening. Wind and hail threat most likely. There's a level 1 risk out for tomorrow night. Could see a couple of storms. Maybe one or two that could pulse up in strength Monday night. Now, late tonight into early Sunday, Monday morning, there might be a couple of isolated showers that pop up into the wee hours of tomorrow morning across parts of western Iowa. This model is a little more aggressive in terms of coverage and intensity, but I wouldn't be surprised if you wake up a couple of sprinkles out in places like Carroll, Ottoman or so on, and then those will be done by middle of the morning. So there is a slight chance of rain tonight, but overall we're just going to be dry with our winds turning to the south and heating up tomorrow afternoon. So western Iowa, where we showed you earlier in the show, that heat advisory out, most likely to get up towards that 105 degree mark. Eastern, as you head eastward, it won't be quite as hot, but widespread 90s to low 100s anticipated for those heat indices tomorrow and a brisk breeze out of the south. Now, tomorrow night, modeling's not doing a great job of figuring this out yet, but there will be a, a disturbance that passes overhead try to use some of that heat and moisture sitting over Iowa. So there's a chance of a few thunderstorms and maybe one or two stronger ones into the wee hours of Tuesday morning, but these won't be widespread. I don't think just yet. We've got to kind of pin those down a little bit. Then Tuesday afternoon, a front's going to slide southward. And as it comes through central Iowa in the afternoon and evening hours, we're going to pop up probably a few more thunderstorms. They're not, not good wind shear to make these strong for a long period of time but there's going to be so much heat and humidity that they'll be able to at least get somewhat strong. Definitely provide some heavy rainfall, maybe a couple of stronger wind gusts or a little bit of some hail. Here's your heat index values for Tuesday. Northern Iowa, not as hot because you'll be behind that boundary. Kind of picture it right here between I-80 and Highway 30 Tuesday afternoon, but definitely southern Iowa, 90s to low 100s for heat indices for the second day in a row. And then as we head towards the middle of the week, things will improve. So some weather aware days there Monday and Tuesday for the heat and then the storms, particularly Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday, that looks pretty good. Mid 80s and not too much mugginess. Lots of sunshine as well. And then some storms are possible again as we get towards Thursday and into Friday towards the ends of the week. But we will at least keep our temperatures generally below 90. Friday will get a little bit muggy as breezier winds start to blow back in some of that humidity and then we'll be dry through the weekend.